everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking about this Guerlain product. It is called the Kiss Kiss Lip Lift Smoothing Lipstick Primer. And it's not new to the market, but it's new to me. I wanted to give it a try because for some reason I would not seen this before. But it says it's an indispensable partner to lipstick. The Kiss Kiss Lip Lift Smoothing Base in stick form redefines your lip contour, smooths and prepares lips for long lasting makeup. With its creamy, rich and supple texture and neutral translucent shade, it preserves and enhances the color of your lipstick. Lips are smooth and silky soft. Their contour is more defined. Lipstick is easy to apply. It offers lasting hold for guaranteed high fidelity makeup without feathering. All great things. So one of the issues with my lips are that there are lots of lines in them. Always have been, always probably will be. Right in here, not so much the feathering, but on the lips themselves. So anything that can smooth that out is interesting to me. The part about the high fidelity makeup to me means that you are able to see the color of the lipstick because what can happen with my lips because there is color to them anyway, if I put a lighter color especially on there, it's influenced by the color of my lips so I don't get the true read of the color. So what can happen is that if it's a lighter color, it might not be opaque enough or it interacts with the color on my lips already so I get a different color than what is in the tube or on the bullet. So I was really interested in that to see if it could kind of even out my skin tone before I applied the lipstick. I also, of course, like the long lasting part of it. Anything that can extend the wear of your makeup is great. I've given this a few preliminary tries already and I'm impressed with the results. So if you'd like to see how this goes on, I show you without primer and then with primer and I'll show you side by sides as well. So if you'd like to see that and hear my final thoughts, please keep watching. I'll first apply lipstick without primer. So these are my bare lips, no primer. I've got the Hourglass, I've never confession, confession, ultra slim high intensity lipstick. Can never remember the name, it's very long. Really beautiful color, it is creamy going on, so that helps definitely. So when I apply it to just bare lips, there's definitely a drag to it. It's a nice creamy formula to begin with though. And it also does a really nice job of evening out the lip tone. So there we go. Just a lip product, no primer. What I do notice is I notice those vertical lines in my lips, as always. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Tom Ford Girls and Boys in Italia on top. And this is a little bit of a grittier lipstick. I can feel the particles in there. I love this combination of these two lip colors, really pretty. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is remove that and then we'll try it with the primer. Now there's a little bit more pigmentation than usual because I've just removed that lip color that kind of irritated them. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Kiss Kiss Lip Lift Primer. And as you can see, there's definitely a white cast, so not translucent on me. It feels very waxy going on and not very moisturizing. I would say it's more waxy than anything. And I'm just gonna work that in and get on the edges here. That's where the feathering occurs if you have feathering. I do have a few lines where that might happen right up here. I'm gonna go in with the same Hourglass product. And immediately, it smooths on. This definitely has a glide to it now. Okay, and there it is with primer. I'm gonna go ahead and put these images side by side so you can take a look. And to me, it looks like it's much smoother, especially on the bottom. It looks like a much smoother surface. Obviously, I can't see the side by side myself. It's just a perception that I have from this vantage point. It feels really nice though. It's not sticky. It's not goopy or anything like that. It's definitely not something that I would notice as a distracting thing. I'm not a fan of things that I can sense on my lips, like sticky lip gloss, um, like liquid lipsticks, especially when they start to get really dry. 
it's very distracting for me. So this isn't a product that I notice in terms of the feel. It's very neutral feeling, I guess. I don't, I don't sense it on my lips. Then I'm gonna follow up with the same Tom Ford color. Oh no! Okay, that's when you uh, wound it up too high. It bent. There we go. Mm. You might be wondering why I'm putting on this Tom Ford lip color because I was having a little trouble with it on initial application because it's a little bit grittier so it wasn't going on evenly. So I did want to try it with another lipstick to see if that would help or if the primer would help. So side by side with both lip colors on. I think that they look a little bit more plump, a little bit more smoothed out. So. Again, I'll take a look in the side-by-side -side myself and see what I think. Let me know what you think. Let's just check those claims as always. It says it's a smoothing base and stick form, redefining your lip contour. I think what they're talking about there is that as you mature, sometimes the line gets fuzzy between where your lips begin and then the rest of your skin begins. So that definition between those two distinct areas because the vertical lines will extend from your lips into your skin. So what this does is it puts a nice base down for that lipstick to stick to so it's not kind of traveling all over the place. It also says it prepares lips for long lasting makeup. Again, what it's doing is adhering your that lipstick to your lips and that it is a rich, creamy, supple texture in a neutral translucent shade. So I think that that supple texture is definitely true. I don't feel it initially. It's not like you put on it feels so, so supple, but what happens is that the lipstick that you put on top of it then feels supple. So it alone did not feel supple to me and the translucent shade was not translucent as you saw. There was definitely a white cast, but it didn't really matter because once you put the lip color on, you don't see it anyway. It preserves and enhances the color of your lipstick. So I think you definitely get a true read on the color once it's applied. Now the color that I put on is pretty opaque anyway, so it didn't need that much help, but I think with something lighter it might make a difference. Now I did try it with the YSL, I've got to look at the name here, Tatouage Wash Couture Liquid Matte Lip Stain. And it works really well with that. It set down a nice base. In fact, if you look back on the favorites video, that's what I was wearing on top of the primer, um, along with another Tom Ford product. And then this was what didn't work though. I did try it with this Natalia by Tom Ford. It's a little bit more sheer. It didn't work well with that. And I'm not sure why. What happened with that one was a little bit patchy. It wasn't as smooth. In fact, it was better application for something like that Natalia without the primer. That was the only formula it didn't work well with, but all the other ones that I have that I've tried it with have worked well. Again, it says smooth and silky soft. Yes, contour is more defined. Lipstick's easier to apply and makeup without feathering. I didn't experience any feathering with this. If you are interested in a product like this, I think it, yes, it is an extra step, but it doesn't take very long and you don't have to be that precise. The reason I don't like lip liner is because it takes so long, you have to be so precise, and I have a hard time finding a color that works for me as well, so that is one of the reasons I don't wear lip liner. So this kind of takes that place, it does that definition for you without having to take all that extra precision time with it, which I like, and plus it extends the life of your lipstick and helps it with that true color. So if you learned something from this video or if you just enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. I tried it with the YSL Tatouage Couture, that lip stain, the lip. I did try it with the Tatouage lip, oh gosh, I better look and see what that thing is called. Tatouage, why is so?